That didn't really go as planned. We've been very naughty. There really was a point I thought we were not going to be able to film anything. The fridge is looking empty. Let's go shopping. So we're going to the supermarket right opposite Nugati railway station. It's, it's just down below street level. Okay, so I've got a shopping list, like a rough shopping list. Let's start on the fruit and veg aisle. I often bring these bags because I don't want to use so much plastic and also um, they charge for plastic bags. I really love these. These are special Hungarian peppers. I'm going to cook a Hungarian dish using this. If you're interested in knowing what that dish is going to be, if you'd like me to make a video about it, leave me a comment and I'll try to film it for you. Tomatoes. Oh, these uh, squashes, these summer squashes, I like those. Okay, we need a lemon. Got these uh, sort of semi prepared vegetables here, and a soup or whatever. We got kohlrabi in there, purple kohlrabi, and um, parsnips. Well, not parsnips actually. Um, onions, carrots. That one's got a very cute, tiny white kohlrabi. Carrots, that is 649 forints by the kilo. This one is 799 by the bunch. Garlic, we need garlic, let's get this nice big garlic. Let's get some onions. Now let's get some of these uh, spicy Hungarian peppers, these pointy dark green ones. Let's get two of them. I mean, you can get ones that look the same and they're not spicy, but this one says that they are spicy. Oh, and asparagus is in season. White asparagus. Let's get one of those. What else do we need? Really should look at my shopping list, shouldn't I? You can cook these, but I also love them as a snack. How cool is that? May I stop us? Vietnam. Ah, Vietnam. Why Vietnam? Ah, it's not a the the only signs I noticed as I entered were these explaining that there is a price cap in place. The price cap is finishing soon, but something new is going to be introduced in its place. Még valami kolbász, nem mi paprikás krumplihoz, Mely, melyiket ajánlja, nem tudom. Um, inkább csípős. Az, az jó a paprikás krumpliba? Szél. Jó, akkor abból kérek szépen egy olyan, hogy kell egy olyan, egy szállat, vagy hogy mondjam? Úgy jó, az jó, az nagyon jó. Let me try to find my favorite meal for which is don't know as that. Can you see it? Ah, oh, got it. Oh, do you want one? Okay, so let me a mash meat. Okay, where you can get the sauce? 
és veszek egy tésztát. Then I want. Was it Happy Day cherry juice, which was so nice in the summer? Ah, yeah. This one. And this one. That didn't really go as planned, but so don't worry, I'll take all the shopping home and I'll show you everything when we get back and I'll show you how much everything costs. We bought quite a lot of things. Look, that's a kohlrabi sticking out of his bag. <laughs> oh god, there really was a point. I thought we were not going to be able to film anything. We've been very naughty and we continued on the sly anyway. So let's go home and let's see what we got. Finally back at the house. Let's see what we got. But first, I need a coffee. And some water. Oh, that's better. Let's do this. So it's all laid out here for you. So I'm just gonna go through everything now before you see all the prices. Leave a comment and write down in the comments how much you think this might have cost uh, in, in your own currency or in Hungarian currency, in, in Hungarian forints, in euros or pounds or dollars or wherever you are. I'd be curious uh, to see what you think. So this is like, um, this is not, it's not a massive shop, but like it's quite a big shop. I don't usually buy this much in one go. Let's start here. I've got some cupboard items. Uh, I got two tins of chickpeas and you'll see the receipt in a bit, but uh, basically this one is a branded one, Bonduel or whatever. And this one is the supermarket's own brand. And this one basically was twice the price of this one even though the branded one is actually less in weight. Then I bought this sauce. It's like a spicy tomato sauce, and I think it's like a decent pasta sauce you can buy in the supermarket. This was 1869 forints, which I'd say is pretty pricey for Hungary. If they sell this brand of pasta sauce in your country, let me know in the comments how much they are. This one is a 400 grams one. I got this whole meal pasta. And I got this one, this is mustard. It's actually a German mustard, I think, but it's very traditional, like we've always had this in Hungary as long as I can remember. And it's just like really retro and really cool and I did need some mustard. And you, you can keep like the jar, <laughs> it comes in like a mug. Okay, what else did I get? Got a bunch of radishes. They're very nice when they're fresh. I got some white asparagus, which is in season now. Uh, I got an avocado. It was 499 forints, which is over a pound. Um, yeah, not cheap. Uh, got a lemon, that was 222 forints. Tomatoes. Then I got some um, peppers. These are very, very Hungarian. They're traditionally in season in the spring, in the summer. They're basically like yellowish white or light green peppers. I think they're absolutely delicious. And they're used in a lot of Hungarian dishes. There's lots of different names for these. They're called stuffable peppers. They're called uh, lecho peppers. There's lots of names for them and there are a couple of different varieties. Then I got some onions. 
Uh, then we've got some potatoes, you now like red skin potatoes. I got courgette, a garlic. I got a different type of Hungarian pepper, these things of pointy peppers and these ones are spicy. Not all the ones you see in this shape and color are spicy. They exist in a sort of so-called sweet, non-spicy variety as well, but these particular ones are spicy. I only know that because the label says so, but you can find ones that, to me, they look identical and they're not spicy. Then I got a kohlrabi, which I love. You can make soup out of this, lots of different dishes. I actually often just eat it raw as a snack. I like slice it up like carrot batons and I, I just love it. Um, but there are lots of Hungarian dishes um, that use kohlrabi, stuffed kohlrabi, lots of different things you can make. Then I got two bananas. How much were the bananas? 243 forints. And two apples. And what else did I get that's fresh? I guess I got this loaf of bread. Usually I would go for sourdough bread but I haven't had a traditional loaf like this in ages and I just wanted to try it. It looked very fresh. It was fresh in the morning. Um, I like crusty bread. So this was the supermarket's own bread, I think. This was like one of the cheapest loaves that you could get in the shop. Uh, what else did I get? This really, really cute little butter. Hungarian butter usually comes in this small shape, which weighs 100 grams. It's quite small. And then I got some like cheese triangles, basically. I got them in the spicy, hot pepper flavor. This is a traditional brand of cheeses in Hungary. Then I also got um, a white cream. It's a bit like Philadelphia cheese spread, but like quite different. And this one is Hungarian flavors, kind of like paprika-y. I really like this flavor anyway. So I got some sausages. I actually got some Frankfurters today and I got some so-called dry sausages. And I got another sausage, uh, which I got from the counter. This one is a, a spicy sausage, and it's called parast kolbász, which basically like a type of sausage, slightly softer than the, the other one maybe. As well as all this lovely healthy stuff, I also got lots of unhealthy things. So I got these big fat smoky bacon, Tile. A lot of people think they're absolutely disgusting, but I kind of like them every now and then. Uh, then we got some Haribo. And these are quite nice. I think these are salsa lime flavor. Then we got some uh, chocolate. Uh, this is my favorite Milka, no is it? Can I hear some nutty filling? Um, then my husband got, <laughs> my husband is British and um, this is their sort of national <laughs> chocolate. So he couldn't wait and he had some on the way home already. There's a security tag on it, actually. <laughs> so it must be a sought after item. So yeah, Cadbury's Dairy Milk. It's a very British chocolate brand. Low cocoa content, low quality, some might say. Uh, we also got um, these Pilota biscuits, which are very retro traditional Hungarian biscuits. This brand does a very traditional Hungarian retro biscuit like the Hungarian Oreos, you might say. This isn't, these are chocolate vanilla rings. I've shown you those already, I haven't shown you these. So I got a 100% orange juice. Supermarkets don't really sell fresh orange juice in Hungary, not like in other countries that I've seen. For example, in Belgium, there was a machine. I think they do this in, in Germany as well, and probably lots of other countries. Uh, and you can see the oranges being squeezed and you just hold the bottle underneath and you take absolutely fresh orange juice home. I've never seen that in Hungary in a supermarket and even like kind of relatively fresh orange juice as we have in the UK. Obviously you can get it in cafes and uh, kind of like bakeries and places like that, but not in your average supermarket. And I also got um, another juice which is uh, basically it says Amarena cherry, but I'd say this is sour cherry juice. It's not cherries, it's sour cherries. It's like very similar, but it's completely different. They're more tangy or sharp or well, sour, but they're still sweet, they're not sour. Obviously this is gonna be very sweet, but still the sour cherry flavor is going to be there, but 
like real sour cherries, fresh ones. They're amazing. And we also got a Hungarian beer. It's called Demon. <laughs> and uh, this is basically like brown beer. It's basically like a Guinness beer. Okay, so I think that's everything. Before I reveal how much everything costs, leave me a comment and estimate what you think this might have cost. So the grand total of all this was 23,563 forints. What do you think? Is that a lot? Is that cheap? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see what people think about this shop. So bear in mind that this is a supermarket in central Budapest. It's not one of the cheapest supermarkets, but it's a supermarket that um, serves a lot of people. And I do go to this supermarket fairly regularly myself. So this was my grocery shop for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have watched this far and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing or leaving a like on your way out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.